so we're just hopeful that landlords will see that people are waiting on unemployment benefits to start. They are waiting on getting their stimulus. Unemployment, as you know, is the highest level it's been since the Great Depression. And for many, that means homelessness is a much more frightening reality. Seven News reporter Ann Maxwell has more on what that looks like in Greenville. And Gordon, a spokesperson with the Salvation Army here in Greenville tells me homelessness was already a problem in the area. And now a lot of people are reaching out to them to ask for help with their rents or mortgages. And most of them say it's a direct result of COVID-19. According to the Greenville Homeless Alliance, Greenville County has the state's highest number of households they call rent burdened. Resources for the homeless are already strained, and the coronavirus pandemic is making it worse. We have seen a lot more contact in the last two weeks with folks who are not currently going into homelessness but are afraid that's what's going to happen. In April, the South Carolina Supreme Court put a temporary pause on evictions, but that comes to an end on Friday. That reality is becoming a problem for groups of people who have never faced homelessness before. Lauren Stevens, who is the director of social ministries at the Salvation Army in Greenville, says a lot of people are reaching out for help who don't have experience navigating the existing resources. It's folks who have never needed assistance before. Um, a few folks have asked us, do they have to pay it back? And so it's just kind of navigating this new normal that's being developed as we stand by. Stephen says the Salvation Army has been operating at capacity for about two or three years now, but she says they're still trying to provide rent and mortgage assistance for those in need. The Greenville Homeless Alliance says before the pandemic, the county lacked 12,000 affordable housing units for those making less than $25,000 a year, and emergency shelters continue to operate at or above capacity. There are resources available for those experiencing homelessness or those who think they are about to experience homelessness. We'll post more information on those resources on our website, WSPA.com. Gordon.